Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian and I'm so, so, so happy to be able to do these videos for you. You give me purpose and I try to give you as much love, tools, tips as I can because I feel very blessed to, to be able to do these videos for you guys. And today I wanted to talk about forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgiveness is such an important aspect of any relationship because we are imperfect human beings. Sooner or later, we're going to make mistakes. Sooner or later, you are going to do something that hurts the one you love. It can be your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, but it could also be your kids, your children, your coworkers, friends. And if you don't have a good understanding of forgiveness, how to really learn to forgive others and also the importance of seeking forgiveness sometimes, you're not going to be able to thrive in your relationships. And what you need to understand is that forgiveness is not a feeling or an emotion. Forgiveness is a commitment. It is a choice to not look at the pain that has been done and is a commitment to making sure that you don't hold those grudges against the person who has hurt you. And without commitment, there's no relationship, there's no love, there's no humanity. And sometimes you've been hurt really, really bad. Sometimes cheating has occurred, or sometimes your partner has said something that made you feel worst about yourself. And it can be difficult and challenging to let go of that resentment, the pain, and the trauma of what has happened. But choose to forgive. Commit to not holding those grudges and to not bringing up the past because forgiveness is an expression of love and you definitely genuinely love your partner and that's what this video is about it's a clear short concise message to not hold the past grudges that have been done to you against your significant other otherwise you are choking your relationship you are not enabling your partner to make amends and to grow. And when you make a mistake, they're going to be at your throat too, because they're going to mirror some of the behavior, the pain and the treatment that you have given them. I'm talking from experience, from personal experience. I've hurt my wife uh, at times because I'm a human being and because sometimes I get so caught up in my work that I neglect her needs and I seek forgiveness and my wife has hurt me too because of her passions and her day-to-day -day activities and I commit to making sure that I'm not going to bring up the past. I commit to make sure that I'm going to look at her through all of her potentialities and the positive things and the love and everything that she does for me, for my family, for my daughter, for our life. And that is the only way our relationship can continuously grow. Because if I was to look at the damage that has been done, the pain that has been caused, how we've hurt each other over the years, and I was to focus only on the negative aspects of her personality and of our relationships, we would not be together today. There would be nothing left. And I urge you to choose to forgive and to commit to forgive your wife, your husband, your kid, whoever it may be, your coworker, your parent, because without that, it is very difficult to express love. And without that, relationships cannot flourish. If someone has hurt you, and after this video, you are choosing to forgive them, if you are ready to commit to this process of forgiveness, share it, commit here below in this video. Pledge in the comment section of this video and explain to us in a few sentences what has happened and why you are choosing to forgive. And if you need tools, tips along the way to make sure that you are supported, 
to make sure that you're held accountable, to make sure that you're not triggered, then reach out to us. Let's work together. This is my passion. You can tell, you can see that I love what I'm, what I'm doing and that I'm committed to empowering and enabling you to forgive whoever has hurt you in your past or recently. As always, we're fighting the good fight, my friends. Take good care and see you soon.